when we suppress though, so when we go, so we suppressed it in the office, mm -hmm. we go, we didn't sit in the car and have a cry, we got home, we didn't have a cry when we got home, we suppress that, we have our drink, that helps suppress even further. Then we have trouble nights, sleep, all sorts of things, all sorts of other pain occurs as a result of this suppression. With the addition that anything that happens at home that we could have otherwise enjoyed, we will not be able to enjoy. So, for example, if our husband comes home all amorous and wants to have, make love, won't be able to do that either. Right? Or if we do, we won't if really we do, be we, we having We won't be pleasure. really having pleasure, we yeah. won't be in it. If our children come home and we want to hear the joy of their day, we won't be able to actually connect with the joy of their day either. Mm -hmm. Because there's all these other aspects of our life that are getting shut down because we've chosen to shut down this particular part of our soul. And that's like a microcosm of really what you're saying happens on, on a lifetime scale. Yes. So that's You, you think one... of every single day, most people get events, the law of attraction brings them events, which cause them to feel and experience certain emotions that they don't want to feel. And instead of allowing themselves to feel it, in other words, instead of being humble, mm -hmm. they, they won't allow themselves to feel it, so they suppress. Yeah. Not understanding that suppression is going to cause further damage to their own soul and further damage in their ability to experience joy mm. in the future. Because in that example we gave, a lot of people would say, yeah, well, she had a stressful day at work. Of course, things aren't going to go that great when she gets home. I don't agree. If she had cried before she got home, she would find that things would go great when she gets home. Yeah, exactly. If she released the emotion that the event triggers, the event that she is attracted because of her own emotions, actually, and if she released the emotion the event triggered, by the time she got home, she would be back in a place of joy. And over... Over many years, our continual that. suppression of, because events are bringing us things to, to trigger past suppression. Mm. And if we continue to suppress, it's like compacting the soul and, and forming barrier upon barrier over these emotions that yes. we're afraid to feel. And this is why, the reason why many people, by the time they get to 80 or 90 years of age, are so suppressed. Mm. And you can feel how suppressed they are. Like yeah. most people can feel how suppressed they are. Yeah. It's not like it requires any sensitivity mm -hmm. to feel how suppressed they are. They are so suppressed because of a lifetime of suppression, mm -hmm. not understanding that every suppression that they engage through their lifetime has caused their soul to shrink and it caused the expression of other more po positive emotions to also shrink. Mm. And so they get to a point where you can't even feel any positive emotions in them anymore. Yeah. Got you. Mm. So in the example of the woman who comes home from work, a lot of people might dismiss her bad night as stress, but really we're saying that she's suppressing an aspect of herself that next month when she goes on holiday, she's not even going to experience as much joy, joy as she could have because she's suppressed this thing. And exactly. In 10 years' time at her daughter's wedding, she's still not going to feel as much joy as she could have because she's suppressing. Exactly. And by this time, continually suppressing this. Probably thing. other emotions. Yeah. She, she would be attracting events that trigger these emotions as well because God wants us to express them yeah. rather than suppress them. Yeah. So because, she, because over this period of time now, she will have attracted a long series of events to trigger these particular same emotions. Yeah through her soul's condition attracting through the law of attraction these events she was suppressing every one of them not realizing that not only is she suppressing the experience of the particular event but now she's adding further damage to the soul in the sense that she's suppressing other aspects of joy other aspects of pleasure inside of the soul which now also will need to be exposed through negative attractions yeah so you're creating a, a, a minefield <laughs> Of, you know, for your own soul when you suppress one emotion. And I feel that if people fully understood what effects it had, they would look at this aspect of suppression and go, well, I'm going to never do that again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> because it is such a powerfully negative thing to do to your own soul, yes. to suppress any emotion. And if we put that then from the opposite perspective, say... Five years ago when we met, I feel like 
I'd been suppressing a lot of emotion mm -hmm. for a long time. Mm -hmm. And a lot of us are, mm -hmm. as adults. We, mm -hmm. We're just seeking pleasure, suppressing everything negative. And using alcohol, drugs, all sorts of uh, external stimuli. Lots of external or depressants. things. And distractions. And distractions. Yeah. Using even time. We, you know, we, we keep ourselves busy so we don't have to feel. Yeah. That's another distraction. And so by the end, we, we hardly feel anything. And a lot of people reach middle age and go, mm, nothing feels very good anymore. Exactly. Just this is why. Nothing. So what, what's the possibility for us as adults if we have been suppressing a lot of things and suddenly we connect to just one thing, does this mean that suddenly our potentials for experiencing yes. joy... The opposite Sudden. is also the case. Yeah. If, I, if I have an allowance of one emotion above all others, mm -hmm. then obviously all other emotional experiences will also expand. Mm. So this is the positive aspect of this, of this principle of the soul. So, so if I even, and this is why you find people have sort of a, a, an amazing experience of some kind in their 30s, 40s or 50s, that all of a sudden softens them to a heap of other experiences. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what happens. Their soul is suppressed. One aspect of it sort of breaks out of the suppression. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Whoop, you know, through the yeah. law of attraction, yeah. attracting an event that, that causes them to enable a desire within them. And all of a sudden, bang, they, they grab hold of that desire. Mm -hmm. Now, because they've grabbed hold of that desire and also allowed this emotion mm -hmm. above all others, mm -hmm. all other emotional experiences Just expand as also well. stand in their potential. This also means that all other painful emotional experiences that have been suppressed also expand, mm -hmm. which also means that there is the potential that they'll have a great experience and then ball for a week yeah. <laughs> because uh, they've allowed the greater, the greater expansion of their soul's experience of the particular, of all emotion. Is this what happens <coughs> if some times people say when they have their first child and suddenly there's this expansion of joy and it's all so emotional and suddenly they feel all these other things. And suddenly they start crying every day, sometimes in joy, sometimes in pain <laughs> yeah. and, they and don't, then, half the time they don't even know why they're crying <laughs> yeah. and people call it depression. And, uh, um, and depression can be the suppression of yeah. emotion. But, but when a person's crying all the time, and it's not uh, as a result of suppression, but a rather a result of allowance, then you'll actually feel like the expansion of the soul is occurring. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. They, and they feel softer rather than they someone They feel who softer feels rather than harder. Depressed feels quite um, distant from themselves often. Well, the person who's depressed is, is actually suppressing rage. Yeah. So the major emotion you feel from a person who's depressed generally is the rage that's underneath the suppression. Yeah. And, uh, you know, the reality is that a person who's depressed or getting depressed a lot needs to allow the expression of their rage, mm. not towards the people they're in a rage with, but going outside and hitting a baseball bat against a bag or something and yelling and screaming and swearing until it's all out of them. Sure. And then they'll connect to some of their fear and sadness that's underneath that. Sure. But, but if they suppress the emotion of rage, they go into depression. Now, it's clinically accepted that depression is a state where you can't even feel anything. Yeah. You can't feel touch, your sensation, sexual pleasure, emotional pleasure, joy. You don't have, and this is a case of full suppression. Mm. But oftentimes the depression is li limited to just one or two emotions that have been attempted to suppress. Yes. And, and if people can access that, then suddenly... Then all the other aspects of their soul will grow. The depression And is the gone. depression will go. Yeah. And that's the, what, another thing they don't understand, that, that so this principle of suppression, not understanding it, is the major cause of depression on the planet. Mm. And you can see too that women, I think, are about three to five times more susceptible to depression than men. So why is that? Because women are more accepting of suppressing rage than men. Mm. Men usually allow the experience of their rage, oftentimes in, their, in ways that are not very nice, yeah. but they do allow the experience, whereas women generally won't allow the experience of their rage or anger. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they suppress their rage and anger and get into a state that's depressed. Yeah. And this is a cultural thing. Men, culturally, it's more acceptable for men to express uh, anger yeah. than it is culturally for women to, accept, to express anger. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the main reasons why women are more susceptible to depression 
than men mm. because they don't understand the principle of suppression. <laughs> they suppress their anger, then they are going to get depression, to be mm. depressed. Mm. Yeah, because by the time you get to anger, you're already suppressing quite a lot. You're suppressing grief yeah. and fear and all of your addictions not being met. Yeah. So you're, you're suppressing a whole line of things by the time you get to anger. And then if you suppress anger, there's, there's no more emotion to yeah. suppress. Yeah. Now you go into depression, where a state where you don't have any, seemingly have any emotion. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Or, or seemingly cannot experience any emotion. Yeah. Mm.